Hey y'all, welcome back to Mambo for Life. My name is Trina and today I will be showing you guys everything I got my kids for Easter. Um, and I'm gonna be making an Easter basket for my youngest. And so um, I thought I'd share that with you guys because I've had some of you ask me about that. Now I will tell you, I don't necessarily celebrate Easter like everybody else celebrate Easter, okay? And like the uh, thumbnail and what my kid's title says, this is not your average Easter basket. I'ma just be blunt with y'all, be real with y'all, okay? Um, and hopefully y'all, I'm, I'm assuming if y'all are here wanting Easter baskets, y'all are on some level of Christian, okay? That's what I'm gonna assume. Um, telling my sisters and my brothers in Christ, um, I don't celebrate Easter, I don't celebrate Easter. I celebrate John 316, but I don't celebrate Easter, but I understand it's, it's supposed to be the same thing, even though one is a pagan holiday and the other one is ce celebrating uh, Jesus dying for us. So I ain't trying to offend nobody, y'all. I just wanted to give reasoning behind why my baskets will probably not look like most of the baskets you see are even baskets are being, being made. And that's not to trigger nobody. That's not to upset nobody. I'm just, like I said, just going to give you free advice. Uh, this is the Easter basket we will be working with. So I'm going to use this for my baby boy's basket. I only grabbed one, y'all, just because there's like, I like Easter baskets, but they're not something I can use every day. So um, I didn't want to be wasteful by buying it, knowing I'm going to donate it. So I bought one for the purpose of this video, but they have a huge variety. Um, you can even switch out the color of this ribbon if you want to. I have blue ribbon, y'all, but I cannot find it. So I'm going to just leave this. We're going to go ahead and jump into these gifts. I did grab two of these cute little cups for the youngest two. I grabbed one with a chick on it. It's a green cup. And then I grabbed a blue one with a gnome with that has bunny ears and a carrot. I thought these were too cute. But everything that did not directly correlate back to Christ, um, I did want to try to point it back in that direction. So I know I'm super corny, but um, I did put little sticky notes on the back for the kids just so they could see how it goes back to Jesus. I grabbed some necklaces from the Dollar Tree as well. I got these, I want to say a, over a month ago, but uh, they had three different varieties and I only see these at one store. So if you don't see them at one store, definitely look at another one. Everyone has their own gratitude journal. So this is Imari's, this is Asante's, this is Contrell's, and this is Tishon. So everyone knows exactly which one is theirs. And then I grabbed some peeps. So again, everyone has their own flavor. And I like getting the kids different flavors just because if they decide to share with each other, they can. But on the back of each one, again, this is not Christ themed. Um, I did put on the back the John 316. Sweets to remind us how sweet Jesus' love is. I love that. I thought that was cute. And everyone did get two sweets. So you, everyone got a pack of peeps and then a pack of some type of gummy candy. And on the back of the gan, uh, on the back of the gummy candy, everyone got a different Bible verse um, about something sweet. <laughs> I know I'm a little extra, y'all. All right. So everyone has a different one. Y'all thought this one was so fitting for Santa, y'all, because that that little one. Honey, he can say some mean stuff. So I thought this one would be great. And then I grabbed all of the boys a Bible. No one has an actual paper Bible until now. I still need to go grab one. These are $12.48 at Walmart. I prefer the King James Version, but the kids understand uh, the NIV version better. So I did grab all four of them. That one, I'm going to get me one as well. We've been doing bible study on the sabbath as a family and we've been using our electronics to do that so it's going to feel really great to be able to use uh the actual bible to do this so i'm hoping that encourages them to read their bible more um and i also grabbed a notebook for everyone so they can take their little notes y'all and these were only a dollar some change at dirt cheap so that was awesome as well and they all have their own so asante has been asking to play um, a something he's been asking to play soccer for a while. So I grabbed him soccer control has the football one. Tashawn got a blue one, and then Imari got one about. I'm gonna say it's like something. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna put this one at the bottom of Asante's. So this is gonna be something he shares with his brothers this Sabbath. Um, I want to say. I want every Sabbath, like after we have Bible study together, um, we've been reading a chapter or two out of Proverbs. Um, after we do that, I want to be able to like somebody to be able to share a treat. So we're going to start with the youngest. 
So that's going to go at the bottom of his basket. And then I'm going to put his little journal in there. And we're going to grab his Bible. Just like that. I'm going to see the other one on this side. Let's see. Like that maybe. That there. And then his little cup. setup i'm gonna go ahead and bag it right now all right you guys so this is asante's basket for him um honestly i think i could probably make it a little cuter um i just gotta find my bow basket y'all i really want to put a bow right here um and have the little things come down if i don't it's okay i'm still gonna give it to him y'all because and honestly my kids don't really care about stuff like that i have four boys they want what's inside the basket so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get in uh in this video out they are at home by now, all four of them that got home. They are ready to raid the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do to the other boys. So I'm just going to wrap theirs in the gift basket paper and put it in their spot um, just so they can get it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.